Alasia, Aho, Ase, Namaste, and blessings to all. Welcome to Shadow of Wolves. In blessings to you, let's talk about spirit guides and ancestors. Your spirit guides are known and found when you are doing prayer masses. If you are around absolutely no one, or if you're somewhere remote and you don't have access in doing prayer masses with other people and you're by yourself, stay fast to prayer. If you believe that you have spirit guides, do know that you will also believe that there is a great creator, God Almighty, that you will call upon when you're doing your prayers. When you do that, especially with a candle, okay? And with us, in my faith, we use a glass of water for clarity and for understanding in the meaning of water. However, put a glass of water, put a candle, and do your prayers. Now, how will you do that in understanding who walks with you? When you start meditating and how you do this is looking at your candle, stare upon the blue flame. When you are staring upon this blue flame and you're collectively in prayer, make sure that you're in a quiet space. Do this every day and do know that your surroundings are protected. Once you pray first, your surroundings are protected. Now, where do we start with this? A lot of us know the spirits that walk with us when we attend what's called Mesa Blanca or Misas or prayer masses. And there's other spiritualists that have a spiritual eye. Those spiritualists have to have good heart, a good heart and good attention, intentions for you and for the house in which the mass is being held. They also have to purify themselves and there's many, many good spiritualists out there. Now, also to an understanding that when you're in a prayer mass and what we call Mesa Blanca or Misas, we say exactly what we see. So ancestors always, before God comes first, but ancestors come first because those are the ones defending you. Some of you may have lost your mother, your father, your grandfather, and so forth, or your uncle. Those spirit guides will be the ones defending you if they were good to you and good to others on earth. Now say for example, there is a spirit guide that has that is an ancestor of yours that had died tragically or they um they did something bad on earth. That's okay. What you can do is for this particular spirit guide with the help of other spiritualists is lift this spirit with a 9-day prayer. But let's not jump into that. Stay focused on not rushing and knowing who your spirit guides are. Normally they come out in readings with good spiritualists. They will come out when you're doing a Mesa Blanca, like I said before. And if you hear this more than one time, then do know that that's confirmation of that particular spiritual energy that is walking with you. When we attend Mesa Blancas, which we call also Misa, or spiritual masses, and we're sitting in a circle and we're doing prayers, it is really, really important for you to wear white. And why I say it's important to wear white, don't go with anything. So for example, you can look at me and say, oh, you have Egyptian spirits walking with you. And uh, the person will tell you, oh, if you're wearing um, a lot of, you know, uh, crystals or or um, bangles, oh, you have a hitana, a gypsy walking with you. No, your spiritual energy should be clear so that you get a good reading when you're attending a Misa. And this has to be confirmed. Now, those of you who are developed and who know, who's aware of most of your spirit guides, because a lot of times, many spirit guides, either we pick them up or they just start coming through and they took time for us to find out who they are. So what's important is understanding those of you who are seasoned, say for example, you do already have um, your, your Madama, your Francisca, or you already have your pot in, in Palo Mayombe and so forth, or you already have your Bovada and you're very seasoned. 
things can come up in a Misa, but it's very good to respect the light that the spiritualist is telling you, but also confirm with your spirit if they want a particular energy that is on your table or with that spirit. Always confirm that. In moving right along, remember, even if it's your mom or your grandfather or whoever it is, their spirit doesn't necessarily have to be lifted. Sometimes those spirits need prayers and elevation. Normally we do nine day prayers, but this is done. If you're doing it for someone else, you have to be very, very careful. You have to be seasoned and you have to know exactly what you're doing in lifting that spirit. But if you want to lift independently, say an ancestor, do prayers for nine days. Don't do anything else out of the ordinary unless you are a seasoned spiritualist. So let's move right along from that. So now let's talk about certain spirits that um, are most likely to come out after your ancestors or they're part of your ancestral court. Someone can tell you, well, I see an indigenous spirit with you. This particular spirit is that of the Lakota Nation or an Arawak uh, Native American or the indigenous with all due respect. Well, if it comes up more than once in our religion, we, they usually say Los Indios or Indian. We don't like to say that anymore as it is referred as indigenous spirit in 21 divisions and in Sanse, Tinyo Alaway and so forth. So say for example, you have that particular spirit that's walking with you and it comes up more than once, then you know that that's one of your spirit guides. If you like to read cards, and you like to, um, you feel connected to the energy of what we call, many people don't like this term anymore either, Los Gitanas or Gypsies, or those who, who were fortune tellers who had a beautiful clairvoyance and ESP. Those particular spirits, they are close to you and so forth. Many people get attracted to different places of different regions. So for example, if you are attracted to spirits that or, or different energies of, say, um, Indonesia or India or so forth, most likely you have a past life connection to that particular spirit. Your good spirits and spirits of light, which we should pray every day, will always be there for you, and they will always connect with you and protect you. Now, in moving right along with this, like I said, we can always keep it simple. Do know that your spirit guides, you can give it light, you can give them light, and you can give them a glass of water. Later on in the future, when you decide to have an ancestral bo bovida, as they say, or altar, what you can do is you have that blessed, you do your opening prayers, and you have seven to nine glasses, and you always pray in front of it. If you're just rushing with the glasses and you're never praying, then there's no energy there. If you're just giving offerings, and you're not praying, there's no energy there. There could be someone, I remember someone told me this a long time ago and I just grabbed this randomly. If I have enough faith and I pray right to this over and over again and I have faith in this and I say, God bless this item, please watch over it. Oh, and I walk with it. Well, guess what? You're giving it energy because everything is energy. So do know your spirit guides, they come in little by little. Sometimes we figure out that we have a spirit guide that's been like in the midst five years later. Also too, what's important is whenever we're doing ceremony, say for example, if we're doing 21 divisions or Sanse or someone's going into Ocha or Palo and so forth and there's other faiths out there, we normally have a group of spiritualists collectively that can tell that individual what spirit guides they are walking with. So be patient with this. Now in understanding, spirit guides are different from that of Orisha. So we can't say, oh, the spirit of Yemaya or goddess Yemaya is walking with me. No, that is a different divinity that is done through Ifa, through a Babalao or an Obariate. So that divinity in divining from your Ori, who is your guardian angel, is another sector. Spirit guides are spirit guides that will always stay by your side. Your mother and father will never leave your side. They will take a bullet for you before 
any other high level saint before would all do blessings before um, Papa Legba and so forth because everyone can you know that is initiated works with Legba but your mother and father will stay by your side now say for example if you didn't have a good relationship or you were in foster care or an orphan and so forth you still have the bloodline of your lineage of your spirit guides and if you feel that that relationship was not good and you are forgiving forgiveness is very important if you are forgiving to that ancestor give that ancestor light and prayers you can even use psalms you can even use whatever faith you believe in and praying for that ancestor to be lifted the reason why we do mesa blanca and mesas is because we're giving light and prayers to those ancestors so that they can walk with us okay so prayer is very very important in understanding that forgiveness and knowing that not all your ancestors were good you know i'm sorry but some of them could have been bank robbers rapists this and that and you know give them light if you don't want to then keep them at bay but do know that all of you that are listening to this video have ancestors in your court that are walking with you as there are more that are dead and in the ground and within the ocean and everywhere than there are alive and do know those who you want to forgive or who have done you wrong don't give that negative energy out there just stay positive with this I also recommend in listening to angel frequency music and um, 444 gigahertz, okay? I'm sorry, I'm talking a lot. And also too, if you don't believe in that, just have faith in yourself. The more positive you become and the more that you forgive for those that betray you and that has hurt you, you give them light. And this is in blessings of Yeshua who has done the same thing. So in blessings to Yeshua and walking in the path of that righteousness and understanding that you can forgive, it doesn't mean that you have to go near the person or near that particular spirit. So knowing your spirit guides, patience is a virtue. Understand that it takes time. And then you have to take care of all of them, all of the spirit guides that really that stood up for you, whether it's your Arawak Commission of Los Indios, indigenous, whether it's your Hitanas, now you have to take care of them. Are you able to do that? Are you able to keep up with prayer every day and keep your glasses clean? That's what's most important, having that white table with clean glasses and doing prayers to God Almighty, to Alofia Lodumare, and blessings to all of you. Alafia Aho, I say, Namaste and blessings to all. Thank you for watching Shadow of Wolf. I say.